All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have this Spigen Tough Armor case here for my OnePlus 10 Pro. This case costs $16.99 on Amazon with Prime shipping. So if you do want to buy this case after watching this video, do follow my affiliate links down in the description. So let's go ahead and take a real quick peek at the actual case. So it looks just like every Tough Armor case that's been kind of out before it. Uh, so very recognizable look. Now let's focus on the inside here. So the inside has that new familiar, very soft to the touch, bright yellow, uh, just kind of cushioning all inside of the case there. So very nice looking that's going up against the phone. You have that Latin logo there. The kickstand showing through here, which it's obviously not the actual kickstand part, but you can kind of see through it there. Um, and then the nice thing too about the corners are very reinforced. So this is just a very rugged case, guys, that's actually fairly slim as well, but definitely going to get some great drop protection with this case. And it even says air cushion technology, which that's what those little airbags in the corners are all about. So let's grab my Volcanic Black 10 Pro here. So I always like to start with the alert slider side first, kind of push in those corners and then push in. And there we have it. There is the phone installed in the case. Looks fantastic in my opinion, guys. I absolutely love the different shades of black, the matte black here, the matte black there that's a little darker, kind of going up against the uh, camera bump there. So all around just looks sexy. So definitely a good looking case. Now, as far as the uh, camera protection here, it does kind of just slope in. So it's not like a very aggressive uh, just lip. It's just kind of very nicely done in my opinion, just very smooth and just seems seamless, uh, but definitely recessed in there as you can see. So with the wobble test, we'll see if it's shaky or not, but definitely looks pretty good. You got your kickstand here, which is um, matte black as well that does match the exterior and it does flop out and it does say something you want and then speak in there. But then when you push it back in, it just clicks in nicely. And if it does pop out, it is easy to pop back in. And then there's just kind of the look once again. So it looks pretty nice. Now let's look at the sides here. So the sides definitely have some nice ruggedness going. So you got tough armor branding there. Now, unfortunately they went with that flat button again, which that's kind of the normal thing with the tough armor cases, but it does say PWR obviously for power. So it is flat. But once again, you can still see it. So I guess it's not the end of the world. And then for the alert slider, you can kind of see that little dip there. And obviously that's what happens with a lot of these cases because that alert slider is there. So pretty easy there. And then going to the bottom, you can see on that corner, that little slit in there. And that's kind of the same for all of the corners. Um, but uh, we do have a really nice cutout for the type C port, the mic and the speakers. And then going to this side, obviously there is just a bigger side of the um, kind of space here for the side. And then our volume up and down buttons, which are plus and minus with a very flat, seamless look. And then going to the top, a circle cutout for the mic. Now, as far as the front of the phone goes, definitely 360 protection as far as the screen is concerned. Forehead and chin is raised. Uh, the screen is not completely flat, but there is definitely some lips, as you can see here, for the screen. So definitely getting some good screen protection. And then this is the look of the um, cutout for the speaker up top. So there's the look of the front. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So let's see if that back is shaky or not. And it is not. So definitely with that very seamless kind of clean dip in there it definitely helped a lot and then face down face down has a tiny tiny shake so very very tiny shake but it definitely does wobble a little so now let's see how clicky these flat buttons are so let's start with that power button first and volume up and down All right, so even though they're flat, they are clicky guys. So definitely passes the clicky button test. And now let's see how easy it is to get to that alert slider. 
So very, very easy. So no issues at all there. And then last but not least, Qi wireless charging. So let's see with my Spigen charger here, if it recognizes it. And it does. So as you can see there, guys, definitely knows it's on a Qi wireless charger. So no issues at all, even though it's a very rugged case, there is no issues with wireless charging and you can do Google Pay as well with ease. So there you have it, guys. There is the Tough Armor case. It's fairly slim considering it's obviously a tough case, hence the name, but uh, it feels very good in the hand. This texture, I love this texture. I've always been a big fan of it. Uh, so definitely has some decent grip. Now the sides, unfortunately, uh, are very like flat. So I wish they were a little more rounded, but I get why they are this way. But uh, the back feels great, especially if you like place it on your leg, it's not gonna really slip around much. Uh, the only problem with this back is that uh, it is not, um, you know, the most uh, protective, I should say, against like grease on your hands. I don't know why I had the hardest time saying that, but like any oils or anything like that, you will see it. So if you're like me, you're going to, you know, use your shirt or a towel or something and wipe it down. But it is fingerprint resistant, which is nice. But uh, that is just the only thing that I really have a knock on. It's just the uh, oils from your hands. So there you have it. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.